Meanwhile, several recurring issues were raised at last night's GMH Board of Trustees meeting, but one issue in particular that management said seemed to be perpetuated in part by elected leaders was in controlling the hospital's ability to raise much needed revenue. For decades, the Guam Memorial Hospital administration has had a chronic inability to raise needed revenues to be able to pay for operating expenses. Most of it has to do with the hospital's inability to turn patients away, and this is compounded by the fact that many of their patients are indigent. Either they can't afford to pay their bills or they are only covered by one of the three M's. Medicare, Medicaid, or MIP. GMH CFO Benita Manglotnia explained to board members at last night's GMHA board meeting that management is working with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid on adjusting their reimbursement rates. If approved, the hospital could get an additional reimbursement of $18 million. The governor had uh, submitted that letter to the president and as well as to Secretary uh, Bur Burwell. Requesting for their assistance in approving this, this will be about 18. It will bring about 18 million to the hospital. She also spoke about a recent visit from the Department of Interior Secretary Sally Jewell. Maglotna says Secretary Jewell went on a private tour of GMH during her visit. And um, we had uh, mentioned this project, and uh, we had also mentioned about the compact impact, about how much it's costing the hospital. <clears throat> assisting us on this uh, this Medicare rebasing and adjustment would, would really alleviate a lot, a lot of the hospital's finances. GMH rates are still based on rates from the 1990s. One contributing factor is the hospital's inability to raise its rates. The reason why they can't? Because the Guam legislature has not given them the complete authority to do so. So we're being basically held back from raising rates so that we can get properly paid by Medicare and Medicaid by 15 people down the street. Uh, that's why we were going to bring it up to them and we were going to ask them for the authority that they can put an administrative provision in the 2016 budget to allow the hospital to raise whatever rates, whatever fees that are below Medicare rate at any given time. That are, I think know. it's important to remind them that they're holding our feet to the fire on yeah, keeping so. rates down is actually costing the hospital millions and millions, millions of dollars a below. year in yes. Medicare Medicaid yep. fees. Yes. So what to senator that, wants to be reminded of that at the next election? Yes, so uh, the Which budget hearing is, I mean, the, this, this budget once approved, you know, this could be effective October 1st. So that's why we're pushing for it because we say that, you know, based on the uh, the operating, um, I mean, the operating revenues, it's not sufficient to cover the operating expenses. We so by holding need. us to old rates, they're short <laughs> shooting the community. Yeah. Look, you, here's all these other hospitals who are getting paid this rate, and your hospital yeah. is getting paid yeah. this rate, and it doesn't make any sense. GMH's budget hearing is scheduled for next Tuesday at 2 p.m. at the legislature's public hearing room.